What's going on guys? My name is Ryan, my beautiful wife Lindsay and I, we go by Rinzi. We are full-time shoe resellers. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about another way that you can flip shoes. We want to continue to show you all the different ways that we buy and sell shoes for profit in hopes that you can find what works best for you no matter where you are in the world. Today we're going to talk about the Facebook Marketplace to Mercari Flip. We're going to talk about all the different intricacies. We're going to talk about how we do uh, research on both marketplaces. We are going to talk about a specific brand to look out for, although there's lots of brands. Today we're going to show you how we found these no bull shoes on Facebook Marketplace in our local community and we flipped them on to Mercari for a decent profit. Let's dive in. All right, so there's a few things to keep in mind when you're doing the Facebook Marketplace to Mercari flip. Communication is super, super important. You're gonna be able to save a lot of time with the right kind of communication. Also, research on both marketplaces is crucial. One, if you wanna save time, but two, if you wanna sift through all the shoes that are not profitable and find those wins. We're gonna talk specifically with those two things, how we did that flipping these noble shoes from Facebook Marketplace to Mercari. Let's open up the app and dive in. All right, so the first thing that we are gonna to wanna to do is open up Facebook. Now, on the very bottom, you can see all the icons. You see the little tiny house. That is Facebook Marketplace. So when you click on that, obviously when we open up ours, we've already got a bunch of shoe listings. But what you wanna do on the top right where it says it's got the magnifying glass is click on that and type in shoes. Then you just hit search and it's gonna bring up a ton of listings of shoes. One thing that will help you, again, look up in the top right where it says filters. You can click on that and then you decide how far you want to travel to pick up these shoes. Now, we have set a parameter of 20 miles from Falmouth, which is around where we live. We want it to be within 20 miles so that we don't have to drive as far, but it's far enough to scoop up a bunch of these listings. Now, the reason that we do not search specific shoe brands and styles, which you absolutely can do, is because we have found most of the time, and you can see it right off the bat, a lot of people, for whatever reason, don't put the brand in the title of the shoes that they're selling. So if we only type in shoes, we're gonna see a lot more options. The first two examples, it says tennis shoes, even though we can tell that those are New Balance, and then men's shoes, that listing is because there's a bunch of different brands, but shoes, Nike basketball, the, the brand is in there. There's a uh, shoe lot, as you can see, these women's shoes, Nike shoes, when then right next to it just says shoes. So by only typing in shoes, you're gonna see a lot more of the options. And then again, use those filters based on your premise. If you don't have a car, maybe you say only within five miles, and then you wanna meet at your the gas station that's down the road. Uh, just to give you an example, if you have a car and you want more options, extend that filter a little bit further away and you'll see more options. So to make this video shorter, because we respect your time, we're going to dive right into the listing that we found and then talk about uh, Mercari. So let's bring up, so here is the listing that we came across. Now again, we went through thousands and thousands of listings and based on our research over on Mercari and based on our data, we've sold over 11,000 pairs of shoes. We know certain brands to look for. Um, we're gonna talk about the No Bull brand, which obviously you wanna put that on your radar. On your radar, it's a bolo. Um, name brands, Nike, Adidas, New Balance, Puma, Asics, Brooks, Timberland. I mean, the list goes on and on. If you want an extensive list, you can go to our Instagram and we share the 80 plus brands that we sell every single month. That'll help you narrow down some stuff. But again, to shorten this video, we know that the Noble brand sells very well on Mercari, so we were looking for that brand. We came across this listing for a pair of Noble sneakers for $20. Now it says sold because we've already purchased that, but when we came across it, obviously it didn't say sold, it said for sale. Now this buyer, or this seller, only had one photo of the shoes. 
if you've watched any of our videos as a seller, you wanna have multiple photos showing all angles, but what this seller did is it showed the inside of one shoe, the kind of the bottom of another shoe. So we could tell right off the bat, there's nothing significant, there's no red flags that were popping up. Let's jump into the conversation that we had with this individual. So here is the listing. We reached out to them and we said two things right off the bat. Are they still available? And are there any rips or tears in them? Because we asked two questions right off the bat, we're saving time in the conversation. The person responded back, yes, they are available and there are no rips or tears. Again, that communication is super, super important. The more you can leapfrog, because people are busy in their day, sometimes they're not gonna be responding right away. Um, if you only ask one question right off the bat, it extends the conversation, so we started off with two. We also didn't overload them with 10 questions right off the bat. So they responded, yes, no, uh, yes, they are available and no rips or tears. We said, perfect, are you free to meet tomorrow morning? It was in the evening when we came across this listing, so we wanted to set up the uh, pickup for the, the next morning right away. He said, yes, I can meet tomorrow morning. We noticed on the listing, it says you're in Portland. We live in Yarmouth, which is just outside of Portland. We said, can you meet at Whole Foods in Portland at 10 a.m.? We eliminated the friction of them coming to us. We knew that Whole Foods is in Portland. It's in the town that they live in, so we made it a lot easier for them. And we set a time first thing in the morning. Now, as you can see, the person responded, I have to be somewhere at 10, but I can meet at 9.30 and Whole Foods is good. That worked out for us. We said earlier the better, 9.30 a.m. We repeated, we're, con we're reconfirming where to meet. We're also adding in the car that we drive so that they know what to look out for. Again, we're adding all these things in instead of having them be uh, individual messages. So earlier the better, 9.30 a.m. at Whole Foods it is. We drive a black Ford Escape. The person said, sounds good, I'll be in a blue Honda CRV. Meet towards the back of the lot, question mark, which is perfect because usually Whole Foods is very busy even though they have a big parking lot and it's a great place to meet. Meeting towards the back of the parking lot is a good thing. There's usually a police officer right there anyway, so we make sure we meet in safe areas. Uh, if someone says, come to my house and pick them up, we don't do that. Um, if they say, I can drop them off at your house, we don't do that. Uh, it's super and super important when you're on Facebook Marketplace, whether you're buying or selling, to keep yourself safe. We've done several videos on this, uh, so scroll down on our YouTube channel and check those out. What's really, really good is the person told us what car they're driving. Now, he, in this part of the conversation, if you've told them your car and they don't respond with what they're driving, it's okay to ask them. It's super important to ask them, well, what car are you gonna be driving so I can keep an eye out for them for that car? Uh, but they told us they're in a blue Honda CRV. We said, perfect. Again, reconfirming, see you tomorrow at 9.30. The person said, great, see you then. Then the next morning, this is super, super crucial, we said, uh, we're en route, we'll see you at 9.30. If you don't hear back from them, you now make the, the judgment call. You, should, you could ask, are we still on for 9.30? You could say, uh, just confirming we're on for 9.30, because if they don't respond, it's kind of a red flag. You wanna make sure you confirm the time the next morning. They gave the thumbs up. They actually got there a minute before we did, just got here at the back of the lot. We said, we let them know, we just pulled off the exit. We met up with them. Again, reiterating, communication is super, super important. If you're not getting great communication from the seller, you have to make a choice. Maybe you wanna save the time and if they're not confirming if they're not willing to meet in a comfortable area move on to the next shoe uh, go back to the listings and try to find a more profitable shoe you always want to keep yourself safe and you always want to have great communication good sellers safe sellers will have good, good communication with you the sketchy people that want you to come to their house or want you to meet you know in the back alley or want you know don't want to meet for example at the police station or at the post office or at the grocery store where there's lots of people uh, if they're not willing to meet you there, move on to the next shoe. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to open up our Mercari app. We're gonna see at the top, these are our sold listings. We're gonna open up our listing. First thing we're gonna do is click on the photos. We're gonna show you. Now we, we have the shoes in hand. We've confirmed, we made the purchase for $20. We confirmed in person that there's no rips or tears. We shook hands, we brought them home. 
We made sure that they were clean. There was not a lot to clean on these shoes. We put them in the wooden box and then we start taking all the photos of every single angle, posting them on Mercari. We don't take one photo, we take photos showing all angles. Sides, both sides, front, back, up and down. You know, every single angle of the shoe, the tread, and then of course the inside tag. Now, because we did our research on Mercari, we knew that these were selling for a great price. We listed these for $79, which was the respectful comps completed sales for a used pair of Noble shoes, and these sold literally within the hour. Now, they, that might not be as common, but the stricter you are in your sourcing, the stricter you are in your research, the quicker the shoes are going to sell. This is a very, uh, what we call a cult-like following for this brand. There's, there's, it's a lot harder to find in the wild because it's cult-like that people keep the shoes all the way till there's no life left in them. We uh, were lucky enough because we did a ton of research to find these pairs still in good condition. So here is our sold listing. Now we brought this up to show you that it sold for $79 after uh, we offer free shipping, after the selling fee, all the taxes, we got back $60.13. So of course uh, you gotta factor in gas, of course you gotta factor in taxes and all that stuff. But what we did when we picked these shoes up is we were already going out and doing some sourcing, so we built it into our current schedule. We didn't just go out and buy this one pair of shoes and then come home. We also had to make a trip to the, to the grocery store because we were meeting at the grocery store. It helped save time, it helped save fees. You're not spending all of your gas money getting this one pair. Maybe what you wanna do when you're doing the Facebook Marketplace to Mercari Flip is find a bunch of pairs in that city and do all the meetups at the same time. So you're potentially meeting three or four people at the same time at the same grocery store. That'll save you a lot of time, that'll save you a lot of quote unquote gas money um, and set it up so when you're doing other errands, you're, you're completing all your tasks in one area. So as you can see, these shoes sold for a great price. They sold, uh, we made uh, $40 in profit. Uh, you know, Generally speaking, you're gonna put in taxes and all that stuff, but this is something that we have done consistently. We don't source a ton of shoes because it's a lot harder to find these, but it is possible. And again, with this video, we wanna show you all, we wanna continue to show you all the different ways that we flip shoes. The majority of our shoes we walk into high volume thrifts, uh, high volume outlets, and we can buy a lot of pairs at once. But if you add this type of flip into your repertoire, into your game plan, you're gonna come across some wins. And the more ways that you can win, the more excuses that we continue to squash and the more money that you put in your pocket. If you guys have any questions at all about this type of flip, the Facebook Marketplace to Mercari Flip, please jump into the comments below and ask your questions. If you have any questions about flipping shoes, we're always here to answer. We're always gonna answer based on our experience. We're never gonna tell you anything that we have not done. To save some time, we don't use eBay, we don't use Amazon, um, so we're not gonna be able to answer any questions on that, but uh, we'd love to answer any questions that you may have. Until the next video, we hope you enjoy each and every single step. Thank <laughs> you.